Well, how do then, chums? As you can see, I'm playing the Outer Worlds again. Heck, yes, I am. Now, I'm on a mission to go and pick up a load of data pads to help learned an engineer to become a better engineer. You can probably see I'm in my, my swanky dragon-esque type kimono. Yes, it's, it's quite late here, people inside the viewerverse. It's the only time I get to myself now to do this sort of thing. So anyway, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, go into the old journal because people have told me that I can actually fast travel. So I, I think I've already got one here. I've, I've already just picked up a data pad here. So anyway, let's jump. Let's get. Let's make it bigger on screen. Can I fast travel here by chance? No, I can't. But I can fast travel. Oh, I can't fast travel to any of these places now. All right. Um, well, it says that we've got an active quest. I've already got the one from in there. Is there? A, is there another one or something? Let's have a look, because this is a bit weird. It's showing multiple. I've already picked one up in here, so that's a bit. If that's a bit confusing, if it leaves us on the poxy screen, isn't it? Let's go in. Let's just have a quick look. See if the marker clears itself. If it does, that's kind of annoying. Yeah, it's pointing me back out the freaking door, isn't it? Hold on. No, there's something else down here. Engineer Volume Three. Okay, I'm fairly sure I've already just gone and got this. Ow! Indeed. Okay. Actually, no. This is this might be another one. Get away! Aha! How do I get down there? This way. I could have jumped down there, but I probably would have screamed again. Okay, I haven't been down here before. You're not real. You're not real. Who is that guy that's saying all of that all the time? I haven't seen this person. No, 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 just leave me alone. Oh, hello. I don't need to talk to him. We'll we get this. We'll have that. We'll have that. We'll have that. You're not real. You're not real. Can't I have that. Oh, hello. You're not real. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom! Shoot! Scram! Why? Why call me a Phantom? Okay. You can talk? The Phantom's never talked before. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have eaten that Sprat raw. <laughs> See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your Sprats before ingesting. Yeah, bad Hig Higgins. Bad Higgins. Of course. Sprats are an excellent source for my daily recommended intake of mercury. What? No! Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. <laughs> the Mercury's going to do that to you, mate. It really is. Oh, yeah. Hard to say. By my reckoning, Higgins has been here somewhere between two weeks and forever. My <laughs> recollection's a touch fuzzy these days. <laughs> okay. Uh... Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aetherwave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. Wow! I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. Brilliant. Uh, I, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's brilliant, mate. Yep. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries, repaired them, maintained, upgraded, did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. Right, okay. Oh, before. Definitely before. Sissy Pig Tycoonery was the apex <laughs> of my long and storied career. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. Um. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us. With prodding irons. Oh no, not the prodding irons. Um, no, sorry. Ironic deaths are the worst. You made your point. I'll help you. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. I've, I've kind of destroyed them all. So this this little bit of dialogue isn't making much sense at all. But uh... yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. I am. Yes. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Right on. Oh, uh, that reminds me. 
You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. I really yeah, don't. Let me just write it down. I've destroyed you. all the robots. Yeah. The tail. Definitely start with the tail. If you're feeling adventurous, the ears are a particular delicacy. Oh, nice. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Okay. Forgot what you were going to say? Me too. Yeah, I, I just want to get out of this conversation now. I've had enough of that. All right. Court cool. looks like he's been playing chess with himself or something. Yeah. That's a game is always going to win, isn't it? All right, fine. Anyway, I've got, got poxy ladders and everything just to get out of this place now. Have I, have I got what I needed? Oh, I'm around the wrong side of the bloody ladder. Yes, I have. Now we can go and we can carry on getting these data data pads. I'm not really fussed about turning off the robots because they're all, all scrap now, people. Sorry about that. I've got the hiccups. What a time to get the hiccups when I'm blinking making a video, for fudge's sake. I had another problem earlier on where my, my mic wasn't working. So stage one of this mission, I've already picked up one of these data pads inside of this facility. Well, I was recording that footage. Mic wasn't freaking on. Even though I haven't changed any of my settings, the mic decided, no, not doing it. And also the game sound wasn't also doing it. Oh, the whole audio just went, no, not doing it today, Captain Steve. Freaking mental. Don't know what happened there. Anyway, let's get out of here. Ooh, look at that. It's a lovely little beetillion, isn't it? No, it's tiny. It's not figure five. Tiny, tiny little beetle guy. Hmm, okay. External anatomy of a beetle guy. Very nice. Very nice indeedy doody. Let me just make sure my audio is still freaking coming through. Yes, it is. It's coming through loud and clear. Right, well, we're outside of here now. Now let's go see if we can do some of this fast travel stuff that people have been telling me about. So we've done that one, which is lovely. Can I can I fast travel to there? You cannot fast travel why near to hostiles. I don't think I'm near any hostiles, my friend. Anyway, <coughs> let's let's get out of here then. I mean that that fence is quite hostile, but other than that, I I'm not near any hostiles. Can I fast travel now? Looks like I can. Heck yes, I can. Right, so we're going to go there and get the next part of this diary or data pad to give to the engineer. Oh, what's this? A Fraser Bros of the Hammersmith's Thunder. Okay. Um, I didn't know that there was any toss ball sort of clubs here or anything similar. Uh, interesting setup, I guess. All right. Anyway, let's, let's move on over. I do like all the retro vibes in the posters. I do like the in-game art. I do like the vibes. I do like the fact that this is a fairly similar to like the old Firefly. But you know what? I haven't played this game for a good week. And I haven't missed not playing it, to be honest. So make of that what you will. Uh, I think if you are going to sit down and have time for this game, you need to have time for this game. And at the moment, as you know, I've been quite busy in real life. And I've been struggling to just cover No Man's Sky in content. So, oh, is, why are you still freaking sitting there, mate? I don't know why it just sent me up this poxy lift when the data pad is clearly not here. Oh, some biscuits. All right, we're going back down the lift then. Boom. Oh, look, now it's going back up again. There must be some sort of stairs or something in it. Okay, what's through this door then? Okay, there's some stairs. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know. Oh, there it is. I oh, know it's not. Damn, I thought it was right next to me, but then I saw the... Went through the wall, didn't it? Okay, let's go through it. Oh, for fudge's sake. Vending machine discovered. Oh, okay, let's buy some bloody bullets. Right, I want bullets. Lots and lots and lots and lots of bullets. Okay, so R2. There we are. Yeah, I'll have that. I'll just buy it all. There we go, that'll do. Spacer's choice! Oh, God. Uh, I, I don't want to steal stuff. Right, okay. Um. Well, where's the bloody marker now? There it is over there. Engineer volume one. Well, how the fudge do I get to it? You see, I don't like all this sort of, you know following markers through walls and things when it can be tedious and um, da -dum -dum -dum. 
it felt like I was right next to it a minute ago. Now it feels like I'm still freaking years away from finding it. And I'm never going to find my way back out again either. So, yeah, I, I don't think I'm feeling this game, to be honest, at this point anymore. It's, it's one of those. Uh, it's up there somewhere now. Okay, let's run around here. Bum, bum, bum. When, when you haven't got a lot of time to invest in playing a game... I know I picked up the side quest. I didn't have to pick up the side quest. And that's probably what's ringing in my ears right now. In fact, it is. Yeah. Look, it's putting me back that way again. That's volume two. I was after volume one a minute ago. Let's just go get volume one. And it's, oh, it's taken me to that dead end. Okay, fine. We'll just go to the one that's closest. Then we'll go for that one. But it's showing that it's only a couple of meters away. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. If I go up here. And in here. Hopefully we've... I'm right on the frick. How? How is it in the wall? Okay. Maybe there's an adjoining room. Please be an adjoining room. Yes, there's an adjoining room. There we are. Give me that then. Okay. Right. So volume one is 63 meters of that way now. Hiya. Okay. And it must still be in this building, I'd imagine. Well, it doesn't have to be, I guess, does it? Can't really... What's this thing? Logs. Okay. And it's 20 use, well, meters through that wall. All right, well, I just want to get out of here now. Um, can I fast travel out of this bloody place? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Spacious Choice Cantina, R2. I'm just going to fast travel back to Edgewater and see if there's something outside of this building because I, I can't seem to find my way around or navigate or negotiate that basement. All right. Oh, it's sending me six metres that way. Is that an Engineer Volume... Okay, Engineer Volume 1. It's actually sending me out. Cool. Right, well, I think we've got the one from there then, somehow. Maybe, but the, it said 20 metres away and it was behind another wall. Unless that was the exit to the building. You see what I mean? It's just, I haven't got time for this tomfoolery. Okay, right out. So volume one is now 100 odd metres, that, well, 300 odd metres that way. It looks like it might be near something. So let's go to the map. And it's all the way over here. Is that a fast travel point near it? It's not. This place is slightly closer, but you know what? It's not much closer. Let's just let's just do this on foot. I've got some ammo on me now, so if I do encounter some beasties, I'm I'm good. At least I hope I am. Can I just run round here? Oh, I'm behind a freaking wall now, aren't I? Let's just get out of here. Coolio, and uh, yeah, we're gonna go get this. I think this is the last volume to be collected. And I think this might be the town, though, that was full, full of those mercenaries that killed me when I very first started the game. If you watched episode one, you'll probably remember that hilarity where I died. Yeah, look, they're still all here. OK, well, um, I can't remember. Oh, there we go. That's how you die. From me. Yeah, shush. Because they're all over this freaking place. There's like about 50 of them. So let's just let's just sneak around because I don't want to be deaded by a load of marauders. Look, there's another one there. We're gonna have to go past him. Now apparently there is a way to do stealth kills. Not that I know how to do it. All right, fine. Okay, here we go. We're in trouble now. Okay. But I didn't have an NPC helping me last time. Are you getting on? You got him? We got him. That's the last of them. Good. Right. I mean, I could go and loot them all, but you know what? Let's just get the poxy data pad and let's get out of here, I think. 
I don't know whether they give us anything useful. We might be able to sell all this stuff. Oh, we had a lot of ammo. That was good. All right, let's go in. Oh, don't be another dungeon. Don't be another dungeon. Just be a simple freaking room with a data pad in it. That'll be nice. Better not be another dungeon. Oh, for fudge's sake. Well, I guess that glass is bulletproof. Say hello to my little friend. Okay, crap. Well, he was a bit of a git, wasn't he? Alright, oh, yeah, let's, um, let's head all over here then. Bard. Great. Okay. Um, so the last data pad, I don't think I can get up there anyway, unless I can jump on this table. Get on the freaking table and run and jump up there. Nope, that's not going to happen, is it? All right, let's go through the side door. Let's just hope there's another way around then. Oh, it's a freaking staircase, mate. Okay, let's go up here then. Lovely, lovely. Oh, I like the decor. Like what you've done with this place. There we go. I think we're done. Find all three volumes. Can I kill these? Oh, I can. Yeah. Oh, I guess I guess that was the sprats that other guy was eating then. All right. Can I just um, teleport out of here? Map. R2. Ah, it's probably because I'm still in some sort of hostile territory. All right. Well, you know what? Let's just get out of here. We got what we came for. I can't be asked to explore. You see, this is the thing. When... Oh, and then I, I use up my ammo trying to pick stuff up. That's really annoying. Okay, can't pick that. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, so there's lots of little things inside of here. It's like the ammo is quite... You don't get a lot of ammo. Even though I just bought a load out of a vending machine, I think I've just gone and freaking wasted all of that. And... Every time you go and loot something or try and pick something up, there's a good chance you're going to waste a load of ammo because the hitbox for picking stuff up isn't that large. So, yeah, there's little things inside this game that are really finicky. I wish on the options button they actually gave you the bloody map as well. Because um, I, every time you see the other menu pop up, that's what I'm wanting to do is bring up the map. Yeah, I want to fast travel there, mate. I want to fast travel there no i want to select the fast travel sod it then we're walking yeah just lots of little weird things like that i wanted to fast travel over to the fast travel point but it just kept selecting the bloody mission all right cool let's head on over then i'm probably gonna get shot in a minute oh is it up this way it is isn't it it's up this way go 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 and it's like those little markers. It'd be nice if it had a little green arrow on the right or the left to sort of give you an indication of which which sort of way to go. I know, I know, I know it's pedantic. But if I went the way it was doing, like a straight line, I would have been running into a cliff face. Right, so we're going to head around this way. Bum, bum, bum. Cool. I'm back with your data pads. And that's pretty much this mission done, isn't it? There you go. Any luck finding one of those manuals? I found freaking free, buddy. Yeah. No kidding. Really? Yeah, really. Well, which one? All of them. Um, uh, the elusive part three. There you go. Actually, there you go. The geothermal plant? Yep. Now got that, that is just incredible. You really went exploring down there? Yes, mate. Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. It was. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. It's not In a bother. Fact, I put aside something special on the off chance that somebody would search out those data pads for me. Really? Well, don't keep me in suspense. Okay, I don't know what I actually... There you go, that's part Look one. Look at that. Building a computing machine out of Spectrum Potatoes, a mm. primer. I'm just glad it survived all these years. They call it a ZX Two Spectrum. data pads. Be still my beating heart. Oh, almost forgot your payment. Oh, nice. There you go. Sure. I'd be glad to take them off your hands. There you go. Um, hold on. I've got the other data pad. I oh, forgot to said that? Was she I just want to give the you time? the other. I never imagined she'd step foot in Edgewater long as Reed ran the town. 
Well, it happened. I'm amazing. Water. What I can what can I tell you? I'm just I'm just the best. If she's going back, so are we. Good. All right. Uh, right. Well, let's uh, let's let's um. No kidding. Really? Yeah. Well, which one? The, the second one. The only other one that's out there, mate. That's it. Ain't that just ironical? If I'd worked a little longer back at the cannery, I might have found this myself. Yeah. That's a complete set. All three parts. I'm going to be the greatest engineer Halcyon's ever seen. I hope so. Um, aside from you, Ms. Parvati, I swear, I'll cool. do you proud. Lovely. I'm glad we could help, Thomas. Cool. I've been saving something for you. Are you? Just a little contraption I found. Should fit right into your outfit. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. So apparently that that all fits into my outfit. All right, let's go into character then. Um, I don't know how to actually equip stuff, so this is all new to me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I've spotted it. Armor management. Yes, let's have a look then. Oh my days, have I been running around in the most default of gear for the last freaking day? Oh, armor of nine. What have I got on right now? Three? Holy fudge. Okay. Let's put that on then. That that looked better though, didn't it? Armor um, four, 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 nine. Yeah, I've got a nine on at the moment. Nine, oh, that four. Can I put this on anyway? Oh, I can. Now I don't look freaking dodgy as fudge though, do I? All right, well, I guess we're wearing that then just for now. Um, I, I don't know how you put things into armor though. Oh, okay. Got that sort of stuff, medical this stuff modifications skill kit increase your melee and defense i don't really want to enhance the weapon i don't really want to en enhance the armor i've got now i'd rather wait until can, can you take these mods out it doesn't say does it mods are a great way to upgrade your weapon and armor the type and the amount of mods you can install can vary on each weather, weather and armor piece yeah i don't want to really go and stick this stuff in there if i can help it Looks like we might have another mission down here. What's going on here then? Oh, pick up the power regulator. I've got the power regulator, people. Sweet. Okay. Well, that might mean... That might mean I can then get my ship fixed. You know what? We'll do that in the next episode, people. So this episode was just that mission that I just did. Yeah. So it was just the mission I did. And I'm going to have to save the game. Save, 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 save game. There we are. Saving. Lovely jubbly. I don't want to just overwrite that one. That's fine. Yes, I'm good with that. Anyway, people. So next episode, hopefully I'm going to get that power regulator back to my ship. And then hopefully we might get to see another planet. Now, I'm thinking if there is no sort of traversing space or flying in space and it's just a cutscene. Um, and then when I land on the planet, I've got to uh, form relationships and all that sort of shenanigans. If there is no space sort of exploration bit or any sort of space combat bit, and it's all just on foot planet and it's just a, like a new level, I don't know whether I'm going to continue playing this one through, to be honest, people. But then again, I haven't got much else going on. So it's one of those. It depends. It depends on the story, I guess, doesn't it? I don't want to make predictions that might not happen, but I just want to point out to you people that I'm not overly feeling it. Not overly feeling it. It's it's a, it's got some laugh out loud moments at, at times. So it has entertained me a little. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Are you guys enjoying me watching me play this? I mean, it's getting just as many views as No Man's Sky at the moment. It's not all about the views, though. It's about entertainment. It's kind of lightly entertaining me. Lightly. If it's lightly entertaining you guys, then that, I suppose that's fine. But it'd be nice if it's putting a smile on your face. As long as it's doing that, let me know, you know? Anyway, people, salute to Mondo. Take care until next time. Goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye again!